2020 saw the advent of a new app called Be Real, which allowed users to upload a natural, deconstructed version of themselves. This app is an indication of how we as audiences engage with digital media cultures to present ourselves to the world. Be Real has allowed audiences to show friends and family their true authentic self with no judgment, much like how apps such as Instagram would have liked to be. Even when audiences try to be authentic and post makeup and filter free photos on social media, chances are they're not usually filter free and showing their true self. This video essay, however, will not consider the authenticity of Be Real versus Instagram, but the authenticity and relationship between audiences and digital media cultures in relation to online dating, with specific reference to Tinder. It argues that while Tinder arguably offers individuals, especially women, freedom, this is outweighed by the negative aspects such as flings over meaningful connections. Dating has largely become something that as individuals we do online. In contrast to 40 years ago where individuals may answer a personal ad in the newspaper, today the majority of individuals use online services such as Tinder to find a partner. People no longer think of online dating as a last resort for desperados and creeps. Paul Garten, 2011, page 41. There's been a shift in attitudes from when Tinder and other dating apps came back came out back in 1995 to the present day. This is to do with how more experience can lead to a positive attitude to online dating. These positive attitudes can also be due to the exposure of online dating through th social network experiences. Dating apps such as Tinder take the stress out of dating. Stampler 2014 in Hobbs and Owen 2016 page 272. This means that people are more likely to want to use these apps instead of meeting someone in a natural way to avoid fear. From a straight female's perspective, looking at male dating profiles, there are certain things you can look out for in their bio. Where they're from, their height, the no bio and sometimes no picture, just a back screen. Telling you what they want, for example, a casual or relationship. Loads of information and social media plugs. From these, you can get an inkling as to what they're looking for, whether it's a serious relationship or just a meaningless hookup. For example, generally those who have their social medias in their bio mainly want a fling or to just exchange photos compared to those who have just have loads of information about them. Walters 2011 describes dating websites such as eroding humanity and turns love into a consumer product which can be seen as true due to dating websites asking you to pay for special features such as looking at everyone who has swiped right or even just paying for extra likes. The Tinder Gold scheme is definitely a consumer product due to the price. For example, just one month of the premium package is twenty nine forty nine. Although there are those extra features like, like the increase in likes, this doesn't justify the price. Why should you have to pay to find love? Are these apps saying you'll find love if you spend a fortune on these features? An advert for Tinder Gold includes a secret admirer. It shows you four cards and you can choose one of them. They have already liked you, so choosing one can give you an instant match. Boostmatches.com 2020 Romance can be described as a feeling of excitement and mystery associated with love. Online dating and digital romance might alternatively be viewed as a mockery of romance due to people using the apps and websites as a way of having meaningless flings rather than meaningful connections. It might be seen as rare if people do find love through dating apps, especially those like Tinder which are known for finding those meaningless flings. Hobbs and Owen describe matches on dating apps as a form of social validation regarding desirability, 2016, page 277. This has allowed people to use these apps to engage in a satisfying sex life and have constant friends with benefits situations. However, some users may think of this as a positive due to the efficiency afforded by Tinder in allowing people with busy lives to pursue partners without having to devote much extra time or energy, 2016, page 279. The idea of relation shopping is to do with the fact that online dating can result in the objectification of the browsing stage. Long 2010 describes this as a particularly strong emphasis on physical appearance, fun and its absence of user fees. Plenty of fish or Tinder frequently draws people who are interested in casual dating. This means that many users use Tinder as a game, which can be seen through Hobson Owen people's profiles which can be similar to a deck of playing cards 2016 page 272 furthermore when people make their profile they engage in strategic self-presentation 
Ellison et al. 2016 in Witty 2008. Looking at this graph, you can see that 45% of users use Tinder as a confidence-boosting procrastination app, so for self-validation. The question that all women want to know is, do men go for looks over personality? Well, according to this graph created by simpletexting.com, 33.5% of men believe photos are the most important feature of a dating app. Dating sites such as Tinder are image-based with limited text compared to sites such as OkCupid, which allow for long passages of text in the dating profile. Wailing et al. 2022. However, factors for these different apps come into question. For example, the fact that OkCupid was launched in 2004 compared to Tinder, which was launched in 2012, so prospects have changed. Furthermore, although Tinder allows for everyone over the age of 18 to use it, 35% of their users aged between 18 to 24, Iqbal 2021, compared to OkCupid, whose mean age is 32, Morley 2021. In conclusion, this essay has questioned the authenticity of Tinder and its ability for users to use and abuse it. It has suggested that some users have abused the idea of dating apps and use them for casual sex instead of finding a real relationship. As stated, dating sites such as OkCupid will be on the scope of this essay in terms of questioning its intentions. I have found that Tinder is being constantly used for social validation and hookups compared to OkCupid, which is more for relationships, but this is all to do with each of the app's target audiences. Please pause this if you would like to read the references, otherwise I hope you enjoyed this video essay on the relationship between audiences and digital media cultures in relation to online dating. Thank you.